We're now here between the summer solstice and the autumn equinox, which we'll be reaching in eight weeks. In the cities, increasing pollution and light prevents us from seeing the night sky. Even when the weather's fine, we see only the brightest planets, Venus, Jupiter, sometimes Mars. And the brightest of the stars, Sirius, which can be seen in the evening, especially in winter. The constellation of Orion. And naturally the stars nearest the zenith, the Great Bear, the Big Dipper, and the Pole Star, stars farthest away from the glow of the horizon. When you leave the city on holiday, find somewhere where there are no lights. There, from 11 p.m. on, you can see our galaxy, the Milky Way, a pearly haze formed by the mass of distant stars. Our galaxy is an enormous disk made of 200 billion stars, all the visible stars including our sun. We see only some of them because we're inside this disk ourselves. Our galaxy is 100,000 light years wide. That means light takes 100,000 years to cross the galaxy. The galactic disk carries us along at a million kilometers an hour. Just imagine, one million kilometers every hour. That's 10 times faster than the speed of the Earth in orbit. Let's compare the galaxy with the dimensions of the Earth and solar system. Since they formed, the Earth and Sun have been round the galaxy only 20 times. We could say they're 20 galactic years old, and that's young. Our galaxy is shaped like a spiral because the stars on the outside of the disk are lagging behind. Beyond our Milky Way, space opens onto other galaxies, billions of them. The galaxies are moving apart. In fact, they're all moving away from the same starting point. The original explosion, the Big Bang, which we believe created the universe 12 to 15 billion years ago. In a fraction of a second, the Big Bang released enormous energies which still power the universe today. Don't bother asking what was there before the Big Bang happened. There was nothing, because the Big Bang created time. And don't bother asking what was in space outside the Big Bang. Nothing, because the Big Bang created space too. So there's no before and no outside. Since the Big Bang, the galaxies have been moving apart because the universe is expanding like an inflating balloon. Every spot on the surface of an inflating balloon is moving away from every other spot. The galaxies are all flying apart like that. The further away they are, the faster they move. That gives us an astonishing perspective. From our viewpoint, all the galaxies seem to be moving away. We see the universe expanding as if we were at its very center. This viewpoint is just as true, just as real as the perspective of someone looking at the universe from the point of the Big Bang. We really see the universe expanding as if we were at its center. Yet without realizing it, without feeling it, we are part of this galactic flight. We are caught up in the rotation of the Milky Way, which carries around the Sun, which carries around the Earth, which carries us around with it. Does that mean we are just dust particles lost somewhere in the vast universe? Not necessarily. If you observe the universe, you become its central point. Even if this central point isn't fixed in one place, the entire solar system is moving inside the galaxy. 
Over millennia, the Sun, accompanied by its nine planets, Earth included, has been heading in the direction of Vega, above Scorpio. So after a year, the Earth doesn't reach the place it occupied 12 months before. It follows the Sun's drift through the galaxy. If we visualize the route the Earth has taken, its annual circular orbit around the Sun stretches out into a spiral through space. And like all the universe, the Earth moves through another dimension, time. In a year, the Earth draws its circle around the Sun. From year to year, the Sun and Earth move forward through time. The circle stretches out into a spiral. This picture of time matches and even merges with the Earth's movement in space. And like any other picture, this picture of time needs space, like the space on your TV screen right now.